Christmas Eve and uh, I've got this uh, MOT preparation it means that I've got to scrape off uh, some uh, reflective tape off the full length of uh, this trailer yeah it's a boring job and not only that but uh, there's like three layers to go through is the top part then uh, the white uh, background and then the glue underneath so uh, scraping 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 yeah okay you see what sort of uh, crap there is however it's done within about an hour and a half surprisingly i thought this would have taken a couple of hours yeah so it's just the glue left to uh, take off with paint thinners now uh, this uh, job of mine uh, i've got uh, quite a few uh, things like uh, hub services to do which means uh, stripping the bearings out cleaning the bearings and uh, re-greasing them yeah it means that i'm given six hours that's an hour per hub to uh, basically kneel down uh, do the job sometimes i have to uh, strip the brakes out and uh, lubricate the rollers and stuff like that and if my magic the, you can see that the the rag jumps into my hand but i found uh, i do have issues with knees i found a solution to it so uh, i'm going to show you and uh, enlighten you here and whether you take any heed about it or not it's, it's entirely up to you okay uh, so uh, knees and uh, kneeling positions are really really important guys in in my trade especially do suffer from bad knees and you'll find even the young ones will complain after a while yeah there is a rule about sitting on cold crunk concrete and you'd have been told this when you're a kid don't sit on cold concrete because you get uh, hemorrhoids or piles yeah it's true yeah same with your knees you're kneeling on the uh, cold concrete uh, and uh, it, it will eventually affect you. You get rheumatism, arthritis, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, best way is to take the weight off your knees as much as possible. Uh, find different positions, standing, or, or whatever. Yeah. Or even use a mechanic. See if you can get hold of one, or you go and buy one. Yeah. It, some people think you might be lazy, but at least then you're preserving your body for, for later on in life. Because we work to live. We don't live to work. Yeah. Some do, and uh, they turn out to be really sad people. Uh, if you're working to live, then you want a healthy body at the end of it, don't you? Yeah, so uh, I want to show my trousers and my boots and uh, my uh, the positions and how I sit and how it's actually helped me because I've had both problems. I've had bad knees and I've also twisted my knee and, and taken it out of the joint yeah, through a sitting position yeah, over a long period of time, obviously. Uh, my knees are actually quite good now. I, I do running, I do walking, uh, I do cycling, so I've uh, got mobility and I also do stretches as well, which helps, yeah? Um, I'm 50 odd, so um, this uh, I've, I've actually, back then I'm talking about now, I'm much better, okay? I wish I was perfect and I wish I knew beforehand. I didn't, uh, now I do, so I'm, I'm just like passing the, the information on, yeah? All right, so back at the HQ, um, my trousers, these are uh, Lee Coopers and uh, they're actually good quality. I've uh, outgrown them or I've shrunk actually because these are 34 hours and I am now 31. And uh, let's see, 34 hours, a bit too baggy for me. Um, so the knee pads, these uh, protect me uh, twice. Once from uh, uh, actually kneeling down as a cushion and secondly for for burns yeah i know it sounds a bit ridiculous but if i'm gas cutting in awkward situations sometimes these will get burnt right the way through the overalls yeah so um you can see the uh shotgun burns on the knee pads yeah this is when it becomes a bit too expensive yeah my overalls get repaired these don't however if i had a little bit of brains i could probably just uh, um, replace this bit of material yeah okay so uh yeah these trousers are pretty good and i've got another pair of lee coopers and i'm going to show you uh, positions in a in a minute so the boots I, I, I personally like is is v12 because i put these on and they felt really comfortable yeah um, details they're lace up um sealed tongue yeah they're not perfectly waterproof because they have a zipper but the zip is pretty good for um, taking the boots off quickly you still have to undo the laces to uh, to, to get the boots off yeah uh, details on these boots other than the fact they're still toe cap yeah um, the leather okay the leather uppers there's also a, a a toe tector yeah or should i say it's an extra piece on here 
which will wear through before you get to the the upper here and then you have the metal underneath and a lot of the times if you're working kneeling um, this bit gets scuffed yeah quite a lot um, so this this bit here actually helps the, the boots live longer yeah the other side um, this heel support is actually better when you're laying on a crawling board and you have to drag uh, your, your feet yeah so uh, this works good both ways it's good support however wearing boots all the time makes your ankles weak yeah because um, this bit is um, not allowing flexibility yeah so uh, I'll, I'll try to get out of these boots uh, whenever I can yeah but the V12s themselves they these are very good quality I uh, tend to uh, uh, change these before they split or before they wear out there in fact they never wear out on the sole yeah um, if you're working in oily pits uh, or there's a lot of oil around you'll find that the oil will rot the material before anything else goes yeah um, just another little added thing here is the uh, oil and uh, heat resistance yeah it's okay um, you will slip if you step in oil but it won't rot this uh, the heat will burn through these and they will ignite if you step on a on a hot piece of uh, metal so uh, guys who are using oxygen oxy acetylene will know this yeah so you just don't go stepping on large lumps of uh, molten metal yeah whatever the boot is so anyway yeah this is the type of boot i wear and uh, like i say these are really comfortable from the point that i put them on and I thought yeah i was prepared to pay that little bit extra to to feel that a little bit more comfortable because when you're on your feet all day every day you need something that that's good yeah everybody has their own choice mine is this and i've been wearing v12s for what the last since 2014 yeah so that's four years and uh, i'm uh, i'm happy with these uh, they're good yeah they, these are really good right then uh my trousers yeah um these uh, are lee coopers love the style of them the the cargo pants we, cargo pants are just the norm now aren't they you just gotta have your pocket down here and then maybe another one here or some type of utility pocket yeah my mobile phone always lives in this little one and it doesn't get crushed when i bend my leg if i lean over it might get smashed yeah which is highly unlikely because uh, i've had this mobile uh, area for like maybe two years my phone i'll show you my phone it's, it's not the best yeah uh, i've broken so many phones i usually just use things like this now uh, at work to be contacted with and i leave it on vibrate if i'm down on my knees it actually vibrates on my leg i know what's going on i can't hear it in the workshop it's so noisy yeah so uh, a bit too big for me i'm now 31 uh, these are 30, 34s, 36s, and I actually broke the zipper when I was fat, trying to get these damn things on. I broke the zipper, so I've had to stitch it up to keep them going. Yeah, the, uh, these are Lee Coopers, yeah, and they're okay. Yeah, this is, this is my style anyway, I, I love them, yeah. I like cargo pants all the time. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you, I've got my boots on. I, I just want to show you about um, knee positions with working. Okay, so um, your knee pads, okay, the, the ends are up here, okay. If your tra trousers are too large, what will happen is when you bend your knee is that they'll still be down here. You want to make sure that they come up and they're, they're actually covering your knee, yeah. I know it's a, a, a no-brainer, but you don't think about it when you're kneeling down quickly. So um, what I do when I kneel down, yeah, okay, you, you have a couple of positions. You have this sort of uh, knee position, yeah? And you're putting a lot of weight on your knees. Now, you could have a soft mat or a bit of cardboard and you'll find that weight going through your knees uh, day after day after day, they'll actually hurt them, yeah? Um, another way, well, I'll show you, I'm uh, actually uh, doing the job here. I, I changed my position, but the most comfortable position uh, to take the weight off the knee is to lean down you have your boot at the back here yeah you can use that as a seat yeah so uh, the the knee then only becomes a support yeah rather than have it if you go forward you then put in weight on your knee yeah the pad is here okay so it's protecting this this part the soft part yeah protecting your skin however lean back a bit and there's hardly any weight on your knee at all and this one of course uh, has no weight on it 
if you have to you lean in you've got support here if you're doing something where you need to pull back or whatever yeah and uh, yeah this is the way i find it uh, very comfortable and i find it has taken the pressure off the, my knees which before when i didn't have pads was, was an absolute killer yeah i'd be like this and i would be doing like a, a reline taking brake shoes off up and down and up and down kneeling and putting pressure on my knees eventually they started to hurt really badly yeah now um, i'm doing this technique yeah it's made a hell of a difference so as you can see i'm uh, putting the weight on leaning and putting my weight back on to the boot yeah so this is supporting me this part the other thing is your posture i know it's a daft thing your posture if your back's straight um you get less pains yeah so you're working like this or a little bit forward whatever yeah one thing i will advise on is not to turn your boot inwards and sit on it yeah like this what happens and i'll show you okay you sit down and then you twist your knee yeah i know it might feel comfortable at first but your knee is actually twisted yeah and you'll find that it will come out of the socket and this has happened to me as well it's actually clicked out of place not nice yeah so um just one of those things that you probably don't think about if you if you're old you probably sussed it if not and you're young and uh, you start to get knee problems it then can mess you up um for your working life yeah my knees are fine now i actually do running and uh, i've got the the muscles in my knees stronger yeah it's worth doing a little assessment on uh, exactly how you position yourself at work and uh, what you do i mean it's even with diy the same thing uh, you're doing repetitive jobs as well you'll you'll find that things will ache and things will hurt um get somebody else to have a look a friend some if they know any different they might be able to tell you whether you're uh, going to end up hurting yourself or not yeah uh, things like uh, knee pain develops over a period of time so uh, just a little few tips that i've learned that might help you it might not if it does i'm happy